G'day everybody, it's Steve from Supertech Electronics and today we're going to show you how to remove a Prado a navigation system. So some of the common problems you may have is it won't accept your nav disk and it does in fact need your nav disk to load the rest of the system up. So you'll put the disk in and you'll hear that noise. That's, that's a clear indication that your nav drive has got a fault. Uh, and we'll need to remove the disc, remove the unit from the vehicle so that it can be sent away for repair. Okay, the tools you will need is a 10mm socket and a plastic spudger. Well, let's get started. So the first parts we're going to remove are these two sections here and you can do it with a plastic spudger or some of them just pop out just like that. And we'll put that aside and once again... Okay, so when you're taking this out there's a little lip there, so it folds up and it will go back in the same way when you're reinstalling it. Okay, now the next section to come out is this section here, and that's pretty much the same way. Just like that. That one comes out, and it will be attached with an electrical cable. Press the center pin and pull it towards the front of the car. And it'll be the same with this side here. It will be attached with an electrical cable. Press the center pin and pull it towards the front of the car. Now the next part to come out is this part here. It will just pull out all by itself and we can just lay it down there for the time being. And while we remove the 10 mil sockets, we've got one there, one there and one there. One there, and one there. So five in total of 10 mil bolts. This one here won't come fully out as long as it's loose. And that part there is loose. That's all you need to do. And grab the unit with both hands and take it completely away from the dash. It will come out with a bit of a click and a clunk. That's okay. Like so. And you'll need to unplug all the electrical cables, press the middle pin and pull it towards the front of the car. Don't worry about getting them in the wrong place. They only go back in one hole. And now we're going to remove the stereo from the rest of this because we don't actually need this to repair. We just need the stereo. Okay, so to separate the stereo from the plastic fascia, we're going to remove this plastic section here. Now it is held in by this clip here and another clip down there. You'll need to get the pliers in there, squeeze it so you can separate it. And once you've done that, it will expose one, two, three, four screws. That side. And then there'll be four screws. You can use an 8mm socket or a Phillips. It may help to use an 8mm socket at first because these are machine put in and they are very tight. Okay, so we've got the, the eight bolts out now. Now we need to undo that screw and that screw. And we'll have the same the other side. Okay, so we'll take that bit off and leave it down there. Now we'll undo this side too. Okay, so we've got that one off. We'll just lay that to the side. We will need to unplug these cables. Once again, push the center pin, pull the lead back. That whole section will come out as a hole. And that unit is ready to send off to Supertech Electronics for repair.